Jarvis, you up? For you, sir, always. You getting all this? Sir, all sensors and data collection devices are active. Okay, let's uh, watch this thing fly and then we'll recap afterward. Okay, Jarvis, walk us through your initial impressions. Sir, impressive indeed. We witnessed a successful launch of Starship through stage separation. The booster was attempting engine restart, and then a malfunction and rapid disassembly. Okay, yo, pessimist. Do you have anything you want to add? Sir, the second stage made it eight minutes before exploding. The cause is unknown. <laughs> Maybe we'll look at that later. Sir, I've taken the liberty to display data collected during our two pre-launch visits. If you look closely, some of the heat shield tiles appear misaligned. I believe some of these tiles popped off during launch. Note that the fuel depot staging area is completely void of trucks. 
unlike our inspection visit in April. Sir, I wanted to apologize again for that fire extinguisher event. It just went off, and it was not my fault. Next time I will inspect it more closely. It is impressive to see how quickly Starship can be staged for launch. One of the grid fin actuator motors required replacement, and as a precaution they replaced all four overnight, and were able to restack Starship in the morning. Sir, here comes Starhopper. It was constructed in early 2019 and used in test flights later that summer. Four short years later, here we are. Sir, this brings our inspection oversight to an end. I'll take the liberty to wrap up this production for distribution, as well as ask everyone to like and subscribe, humans, please like and subscribe. The last shot of the space giving event seems rather special. You and all of your propeller head buddies, talking rockets and robots and such. I am shutting down now to perform post-launch analysis, and monitor for any comments that someone might leave.